We've made it to the back half of the month of September and still not a single named storm in the Atlantic. Flash meteorologist Dave Downey here. There are signs that could be changing even as soon as the next couple of days. Let's show you the outlook from the National Hurricane Center here. They're still outlining this area about halfway between the Lesser Antilles and the Cape Verde Islands right here with a 90% chance of formation, and that's in the next two days. Just as soon as the next couple of days, this could form in a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Gabrielle, a second wave moving off of Africa right now. That's one we'll keep an eye on maybe as we head into next week. Let's show you what Flashcast thinks could happen with what is likely to be future Gabrielle over the next week to 10 days. It's pretty big. I mean, this is a big area of showers and thunderstorms across the central Atlantic, but it's gonna take a while to get organized. There's a lot of wind shear here in the north. I'm not gonna get too deep into the meteorology behind why there's a lot of wind shear on it. It's called a tropical upper, upper tropospheric trough. Say that five times fast. Anyways, that's gonna limit what would be Gabrielle from getting organized at least until this weekend into something formidable. Here we are on the 19th. This is Friday, still pretty disorganized. But then by this weekend and early next week, it starts to take on more of a hurricane shape. And then here's the eye of what would be Gabrielle poking out. This would be next Monday, the 22nd. Bermuda is right here. This could end up being a close call for Bermuda next week. That's something we're gonna keep a close eye on as the forecast unfolds over the next five to seven days or so. The good news here is that there is no computer model guidance that gets Gabrielle close to the East Coast next week. A lot of that is because of how chilly much of the eastern third of the country has been the past three or four weeks. Persistent cold fronts moving off the eastern seaboard, acting like a bit of a force field on any potential tropical mischief from trying to make landfall along the east coast of the U.S. This is illustrated pretty well in the European AI Ensemble forecast modeling here. They run one model 50 different times with different initial conditions, slightly different physics, try to get a better idea of the probability of certain outcomes or the confidence, if you will, in a potential solution or an outcome in a storm. You always hear the European model, the American model, during hurricane season a lot. A lot of agreement here. When you see lots of these really clustered tightly together, those colors really centralized in one area, that means the computer model is in good agreement, including its ensemble members, high confidence in this, what will likely be Hurricane Gabrielle, missing the East Coast well to the east, thousands of miles to the east. Bermuda right here, it'll be a close call, for Bermuda, as we said, early part of next week. Then the wave behind it, we mentioned it. This will be, if it does develop, a slower, much slower developing system. But if it does get into the Caribbean, this could pose problems down the road. But at this point, we're talking a week, week and a half down the road here. This is illustrated pretty well in this graphic that the Climate Prediction Center puts out, a week two and a week three tropics outlook in the Atlantic. The second week, week two, going basically the last week of September, and then they stretch this out week three into the first week of October. By the time we get to the end of September, early October, after the autumnal equinox, it's pretty rare to have systems moving off the African coast and long trackers with a east coast of the U.S. type of track. That usually doesn't happen. What you usually see is what they're outlining here in the Gulf and in the Caribbean. This time of the year, the second half of the year is when the Caribbean picks up. Last year, this is what happened with Hurricane Helene. It formed in the Caribbean and it headed due north into the Gulf. And of course, we know the rest of the story on Hurricane Helene. So what we know right now, Gabrielle likely to be a hurricane, likely to form into a hurricane by the upcoming work week, maybe as soon as this weekend, but it's going to struggle the next few days. After that, 
the climatology history says watch the Caribbean and the Gulf. And of course, we will here at Flash. Flash, the pioneers of the next generation of severe weather and tropical cyclone forecasting. Stay with us for the latest through the end of this hurricane season.